Hey guys, this is Elizabeth Rocha here, your coach with Fuego Fit Nation. So I want to take some time right now to go over the refeed day menu planner. Uh, maybe you are struggling with what foods to eat during refeed day and maybe you're not, you just don't want to mess this up and you're second guessing yourself and maybe you haven't even looked at what refeed day is all about. I have shared another video here on my channel about refeed days, so you can go ahead and take a look at that video as well. Maybe there's some different new information or different information that I may not share here. The purpose of this, this particular um, video is to walk you through choosing um, different foods for refeed day. I will share my screen here so that you can see the menu planner for refeed day and also the food list, the modified food list that I will be using for the yellow containers. Now again, this is for all of you who are doing 80 day obsession. And so I hope that you guys are having a great time with the workout. If you're listening to this video, it's because you're probably heading into week six, which is the first um, week that we do refeed day. And then every two weeks you do a refeed day. And in phase two, refeed day is on Wednesdays, the day before leg day. And in phase three, the refeed day is on Tuesdays and Wednesdays gets moved up to leg day. So in phase one, leg day was on Fridays. In phase two, leg day is on Thursdays. And in phase three, leg day is on Wednesdays. So Autumn planned this out really, really good. She gave us a refeed day in week two and actually in phase two and in phase three the day before leg day. And the way, the reason why she did that, she explains it completely in her workout plan, in her nutrition plan, in, in the weekly obsession videos, which I highly recommend that you listen to because she is our trainer for this program. As your coach, it's my responsibility to make sure that you're following the workout plan to help you stay accountable, to answer any questions, and to obviously share with you my tips for nutrition and fitness and shakeology and keep you motivated on your journey. So again, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna walk you through the menu planner for refeed day. Now, you can do this whether if you're in phase two or in phase three, but refeed day again is every two weeks starting in phase two. And then the last week of 80 day obsession, we have the what we call here peak week, okay? And in case you guys are wondering, when we ordered our programs, we got this awesome little calendar, okay? And so you can see all the stars there. I have not put a star on the day which I'm on today while I'm making this video. It's day 45 because it's not over yet. I want to make sure that I give myself a star. I take some time to reflect on my day. How did it go with nutrition? Which I also highly recommend that you do while you're on this journey because maybe you're thinking about doing a round two of 80 day obsession. Yes, I know, maybe you're only halfway through this program, but maybe you have a lot that you still haven't incorporated because of your work or family or health issues, or you just didn't take the time to read the eating plan or the nutrition plan or watch the weekly obsession videos. It can be a lot of information at once, and that's why I like to do a program two or three times because then you truly do master the program when you do it another, a second time and a third time. And then you truly get to see if this program is working for you or not. But again, you do have to follow it as is to achieve the results that the program that Autumn designed it to give you. So anyhow, let me go ahead and share my screen so I, I can move on to the menu planner of 80 day obsession for refeed day. Now, remember, refeed day is where you get to have modified, car modified carbs from a food list that Autumn has put together for us. So it's really not a cheat day because, as you can see, this is our modified refeed yellow list. Now, it's, this is also for the vegan plant. So if you're following the vegan plant, same thing. There is a modified refeed yellow list um, for those that are also following the vegan plan. And I love that Autumn created a plan for, for those who are vegan and those who are not. Because then you can see that you can achieve great results even when you are solely plant-based. So again, um, this is the modified food list. 
Now, what I have here, which I want to go ahead and do is I want to pull up the, this is plan B. I'm going to go ahead and go to it so I can um, walk you through what I have written down. So this is plan B. Um, every single plan has an example for their plan, plan A, B, C, D, E, and F. And if you're anything higher, well, then you also have to follow a specific plan for each, each of your meals, okay? So I have plan B here. And what I wanted to do is walk through putting together some meals. Now, remember that in your menu planner, or in your 80-day obsession eating plan, you have sample meal plans that you can incorporate. So I can scroll up here and I can show you that, you know, I'm gonna go up, here is an example of refeed day meal. And this is my first time doing this program. So even as a student, what I did was, I went to the sample day plan, and this is the refeed day, and I said, okay, so for a pre-workout meal, she has spinach, blueberries, eggs, waffles, white flour waffles, and olive oil. So maybe I don't want to do a waffle. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the modified yellow list and I'm going to see, well, instead of waffles, maybe I'll do cornflakes <laughs> or maybe I'll do a bagel or an English muffin or a white flour tortilla. But again, this is the yellow modified list. So it's not a cheat day. You just get to choose, you know, some foods that are high glycemic. And again, we, it's not recommended that you eat these foods the rest of the time, only for refeed day. So then I would go back and what I have written down in my, you know, sample meal plan, I also have spinach, I have blueberries, eggs, waffle, and olive oil. And I'm gonna use the white flour. This is where we get, if anything, you're treating yourself with no guilt. But again, you have to remember, as long as you've been following the nutrition plan, 80 to 90% of the time, that is where it's recommended for you to do refeed day. If you've kind of been off your portions and you've been eating foods high in sugar, not on this list and not on the regular yellow list, then you will do yourself a disservice by trying to do a refeed day because it's like any other day, right? So again, if you want to enjoy a refeed day because you have eliminated the high processed foods and you have been following the portions, then go for it because it's going to help you feel good. It's going to, the next day, your body's gonna feel it. It's, gonna sit, it's just gonna use up that sugar because you've actually detoxed yourself from high foods and sugar the weeks before or the days before, okay? So you, you know where you're at. So make sure that you get to make that decision. Again, if you haven't been following the plan, it's okay. Just go on and don't do a refeed day and do the regular day so that you can actually see the results that you want at the end of each phase and at the end of 80 days. But guess what? The, it does this program and your journey doesn't end at 80 days, okay? We're learning, we're making progress, and that is what matters. So, and that's why I'm here. I wanna make sure and I walk you through this so that you feel you know, more equipped with actually putting together your refeed day meal plan or your regular day meal plan and even make some great choices for peak week, which I will make another video for that. Okay, so on this one here, for the post-workout supplement, she has strawberries and pomegranate juice. And what I put on here was banana and apples. I, am, I probably may go get some pomegranate juice um, just to follow what she has here, but I'm okay. I put bananas and apples, and I'll just mix it up and add some cinnamon and or I'll just add it to my, which I will add it to my recover and I'll enjoy it like that, okay, with a banana and apple or I'll do cuties and banana or I'll do two bananas, two meat, right, two medium bananas and add that to the recover. So definitely uh, you get to choose and, and this is a purple. So you go back to your, your food list and you look what foods are under the purple food list and then you add it into the little space that's here. Okay, so let me go back up. Now, for the post-workout meal, she has tomato, onion, lettuce, sliced, um, ground beef, cooked, hamburger bun, mayonnaise. So this is, she has a hamburger, <laughs> hamburger for her post-workout meal or for the, the post-workout meal that's in this sample. And I put on here, just so that you know, I wrote in here spinach, 
egg and turkey slices, English muffin, and olive oil. So for me, my post-workout meal still feels, it's in the morning, so I still feel like having some eggs. I used to always have two boiled eggs and some carrots. And so to me, it, it just fits right in. So I want I wanna do an English muffin with, and it's two yellow. If you see there for me, for plan B, it has two containers with the S on it, which represents the modified food list. So English muffin, one slice, half a muffin is one yellow. Well, I get two yellow, okay? And again, like on here, post-workout meal, a hamburger bun is two buns, right? Well, if maybe you wanna do, if you only get one yellow, well then you would only do half a bun. And again, this is all white flour, okay? Now for meal option one, on this, on the, on the sample refeed day plan, it has half a banana, Shakeology, mini pretzels, white, which is the white flour, and almond butter. Well, I have it a little different. I have two cuties, shredded chicken, a pita, okay, pita bread, and I will only do half. If it's a six inch, if you go back to the food list, it tells you here that a pita, white flour, one small is four inches or half a large, you know, half a large of a pita if it's six inches. So the pita breads that I bought are six inches. So I'm only gonna have half of the pita bread. Now I, I did to actually take a ruler and I measured it and it was six inches. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this right so that you don't, so that you feel the results that you're supposed to by following the nutrition plan. So again, I have two cuties, shredded chicken, pita, and olive oil. And I will add maybe some um, salsa, which is free foods, right? If you see here, you can do chili varieties, jalapeno, serrano, ancho, pasilla. I'm looking at the free food list here. So I can add flavor to my recipe and be okay with it. I'm telling you, you have so many great options here. Now the next part here is, the meal option two, celery, apple, a small apple, and some hummus. I have here, because I, I did roast some chiles, so I have a chile relleno, pineapple slices for my purple, and cheese to stuff my chile. So that's why it's a chile relleno. So you can do a celery, you can do a small apple, and you can do hummus. You can follow this as it is. Again, this is for plan B. So there's a plan C, there's a plan D, an E, and an F, and the, all of them have a sample, an example of a refeed day menu. So don't feel like you have to like figure it all out on your own. It actually takes a, a, all the guesswork. What you have to do is just go grocery shopping and then come back home and put it together so that you have these foods ready to go the day before and you're not trying to like put everything together in that day if you work. You obviously can't go to the store at, at, during every single meal. That, that, that's just crazy, right? So that is why I highly always recommend to do shopping on a Friday or Saturday and then on a Sunday meal prep for the next couple of days so that you have your meals, part of the meals ready to go. You can always put some meals together. Dinner, you may have a little bit more time. Breakfast, you might have a little extra minutes to do make your breakfast every morning. But as far as the, the meals, if you're away from home, those are the meals that will take a little bit more time to put together. And But you'll, with practice, you'll get it down. I am sure of that. Now let's see, for meal option three, mixed greens, grilled chicken breast, cooked white pasta, which is another modified yellow food list, olives and olive oil for the orange. So here for the modified, obviously food, it's the white pasta, it's cooked. What I have on here, I'm gonna do burgers, the family will be home. So for me, I want all of us to sit down and eat together. So I will do my hamburger meal in the evening and I will only do half a bun or the small ones because there's the really big ones. So again, it's white flour and it'll tell you, you know, so I'm okay with doing half a white bun. I'm totally okay with that. But if you do the mini sliders, then you can do the double one. All right, but just make sure that you're following that plan. Again, lettuce for my green, lettuce and tomato. For the red, a beef patty or turkey patty, whichever one works best for you. And um, the hamburger buns and then sesame seeds for the orange container and olive oil. And more, maybe I'll use some dressing. 
again, this is, this is the luxury that you have the day of. If you plan ahead just a tad, the day of, you won't have to be making all these decisions, which then in turn gets overwhelming. And we call that decision fatigue. If you're having to decide this entire day, the day of, one, you're probably running around stressed, trying to get to work, get the kids to school, and get your workout in, and, you're, and that just creates a lot of stress in yourself. Now, if you do that every single day, this is why people fall off track, because it just gets too overwhelming. And the solution to that, to avoid being overwhelmed, to avoid feeling stressed, to avoid overeating or undereating, to avoid not following the nutrition plan is to plan ahead, break down, you know, the meals and, and have, you know, even if you write it down, it's going to be helpful for you for that day that you are, you know, following a specific plan for that day. The good thing is that refeed day is every two weeks. In phase two, it's on Wednesdays. And in phase three, it's on Tuesdays. It's the day before late day. Okay, so make sure that you are also following the workout calendar so you're you're on the right days and you're eating on you're eat, you're following the refeed day menu on the correct days. So your body uses up those high glycemic foods, all that sugar, and it burns it up and it doesn't store it because then you'll store it as fat. Okay, so Autumn created a great time nutrition plan, amazing options. You can go to Fixate, which will also help you with different versions of meal options. And all, all the menus or all the recipes on Fixate have a little star by it, which says 80 day obsession approved Fixate meals. So you can go through those Fixate meals. So if you've taken the time to do that already, on Wednesday, you'll be ready to go. Why? Because you've made us already a menu, right? And if you don't have something in your kitchen, well, guess what? You can run to the store maybe during your lunchtime, today or tomorrow, or in the evening, and or maybe you can, you know, have someone pick it up for you. Again, this gives you some time to prepare for the day so that you can stay on track. Now, if we're trying to wing it all the time, that's just going to create stress, overwhelming, and it's going to make us kind of feel, we're going to start blaming the program that, and we can't do it and we're not getting results. And that's the last thing I want you to feel, that you can't do this. It just takes some changes in habits and in planning and in prepping, especially as busy working you know, people. We have some busy lifestyles. So the planning part will help you with staying on track with your nutrition and help you feel good. And I would say, if you start seeing results, it's going to keep you motivated. Like seeing results in your own body helps you stay motivated. I know it helps me stay motivated. So again, this, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, the purpose truly was just to walk you through refeed day meal plan, let you know when refeed day is and the options that you have from the modified yellow food list. And remember that you want to follow your specific refeed day for your plan. And we have plan A through F. Okay, so make sure that, that you're following your day. Some plans have more options, more portions to eat during that specific meal. You don't want to move around portions. You know, you don't want to move the, the blue container out of meal option two. That has to stay with that meal. You, you just have to keep the portions together. But you know, and you decide when you want to do your workout block. So morning, mid-afternoon, evening, the time really doesn't matter. It just, as long as it fits what you need to do, that's all. Um, just make sure you're eating enough. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Again, you have the Fixate cooking show to go through and find some recipes. Maybe you find one new recipe and you add it to your regular day and your refeed day. Um, maybe you find something on the Team Beach Body blog under the new recipes, under the meal prep, and there's so many different options. And of course, you have me as your coach in the challenge where I provide all my meals, I provide you videos, and of course, I can answer your questions. The only thing I ask from you is that you actually take the time to write out your menu planner, and then what you do is you can send it to me 
and I can say, okay, everything looks good, or hey, you know, this isn't part of the yellow food list. How about you change, you know, find something from the actual list, can't see it because of the glare, and, you know, make sure that it works for you so that you achieve results. My goal is to help you achieve the results that you want. And the way that that's gonna happen is by maybe making some small changes or keep doing what you're doing if that's what's working. All right, guys, so thank you again for watching. Again, this is Elizabeth Rocha with Fuego Fit Nation. If you have any questions or need to get a hold of me, email me at elizabethrochafitness at gmail.com. Thank you.